There's one eternal, all-knowing, all-powerful creator that brought all of creation as we know it into existence. We refer to this creator as Allah. And Allah has all of the greatest names and attributes. The true reality of Allah is beyond human comprehension because He is completely perfect and absolutely unique in all of His attributes. Allah created the human being to worship Him and Him alone, as there is nothing worthy of worship except Him. He is the originator, the creator, and the sustainer of all that exists. So to worship other than Him is the worst of all actions. The first human Allah created was Adam. And from Adam, Allah created his wife. And from them both, he's created many men and women that have filled the earth to this day. But Allah did not leave the human being without guidance. Rather, throughout time, he's communicated with us through special people we know as prophets and messengers. Allah would assist them with miracles so that their truthfulness was apparent. They were the best of mankind and would convey the reality of this life to their people. The most important message being that Allah is one and that we should associate no partners with him. To worship Him alone is the purpose of the human being, and this is the basis that we will be judged upon in the hereafter. Those who obeyed the prophets and messengers in worshiping Allah alone will be rewarded with eternal paradise, with pleasures the likes of which no human being can fathom in this life. As for those who refuse to worship Allah alone and disobey the prophets and messengers, they will have the opposite in the hereafter and will be rewarded with eternal hellfire. If this sounds familiar, you've probably already heard of prophets such as Jesus, Moses, Abraham, and Muhammad. They all conveyed the same message of worshiping Allah alone to their people. However, over time, past prophets' scriptures and teachings have been lost and manipulated. Therefore, Allah would send new prophets, one after another, so that all nations would be informed of the truth. In this current day and age, however, the last prophet has already lived and already died. There will be no new prophet sent to mankind. For this reason, Allah has preserved the teachings and scripture of his last prophet, so that nations around the world may take heed and be guided. This last prophet I'm speaking of is the Prophet Muhammad His teachings have been preserved in an incredible way, unlike the preservation of any other information throughout history. And the last of his scriptures, the Qur'an, has been preserved letter for letter, word for word in its original language. This has been a very brief introduction to the religion of Islam. It is the religion of worshipping Allah alone. And it is the only religion that will be accepted by the One, the All-Knowing, the All-Powerful, the Creator, Allah.